I'm Richard Hammock. Let me show you a set of mathematical pop-up cards I designed. Each is a three-dimensional projection of a four-dimensional cube, also called a four cube or tesseract. Each box has eight cards to each of four designs. Before opening one, what is a 4D cube? That's a lot like asking what is a 3D cube. A 3D cube is a square with some depth in the third dimension. A 4D cube is a 3D cube with some depth in the fourth dimension. Pick a direction to represent the fourth dimension, a direction perpendicular to all three cube dimensions. Of course, there is no such direction in three-dimensional space, but we can still draw it. Move the cube into that direction. The result is a 4D cube, or tesseract. My first card is a three-dimensional model of this. It consists of a lower three-dimensional cube connected to an upper three-dimensional cube by rhombic faces. You can see the lower cube here, and there's the upper cube. You can write a note on the back. It's a three-dimensional model, a three-dimensional projection of a four-dimensional cube, or tesseract. To motivate my next card, consider this cube. Here's a line connecting opposite vertices. Rotate the cube until you're looking straight down that line. The result is a special view of the cube, a hexagon subdivided into six overlapping rhombi. What if we looked at the tesseract this way? If we projected it to three space along a line through opposite vertices, what would we see? My next card gives the answer. This view of the tesseract is a solid known as a rhombic dodecahedron having 12 rhombic faces. There are also some internal rhombi. The top face is left off so you can look in and see them. All rhombi are congruent, both inside and out. The red dot in the center is where the two opposite vertices coincide. Closing the card causes them to separate. On to my next card. To understand it, think of a three-dimensional cube. Here's a line connecting midpoints of opposite edges. Rotate the cube until you're looking straight down that line. The result is a side view of the cube in which opposite edges coincide. In this card, the tesseract is projected to three-dimensional space along a line through midpoints of opposite edges. You'll see here the outline of a cube, but it has some depth. You'll also notice that channels have been cut out of some of the faces so they can intersect as the card opens. The red line shows where opposite edges coincide. Closing the card changes the projection and makes the edges separate. Perspective offers another way to render a cube. In perspective, this cube looks like a big square containing a small square with connecting lines that meet at the vanishing point. Perspective can also be used to project 4D to 3D. Here's my perspective view of a tesseract. It has a notch cut out of it. You'll see why in a minute. It has the form of a small cube inside of a big cube connected by eight lines that would meet at a vanishing point. This pop-up uses 16 of the Tesseract's 24 faces. They fit together edge to edge to form the surface of a torus. You can turn it over and look through the hole of the donut. I did omit eight faces. After all, if I put them all there, this would look just like a cube. You wouldn't see what's inside. But all faces are implied by their perimeters. I hope someday soon to publish this set. Look for it. Thanks for listening. 
I hope we meet again.